It's Chippy here with UMC Portal and I'm doing some more tests with the Lobo Mix 210 which has been here for a couple of days. Really enjoying it so far and trying to get the review done for you but uh, one uh, thing I really wanted to record as a separate video is video editing using the Baytrail platform. Now I think I've done something with the uh, Toshiba W2 T8 before but here's a nice setup and a good uh, example of how you can do some 720p video editing. It also shows you how using the the dock uh, and an extended uh, keyboard and screen. So I'm just going to uh, dock it in a, in a re reverse mode there. Okay, so into the dock, it's connected to the um, USB mouse and keyboard. I'm just going to connect to the HDMI port there, and you should see that pop up on the screen. And so we get ourselves quite a nice little desktop setup there. Obviously, you'd use that as an extended screen, but I'm going to keep it uh, mirrored so we can. Um, so I can show you how to use Cyberlink uh, PowerDirector. I'm using version 12 here with all the patches. Make sure you install the latest patches. The last ones uh, in December and January were um, big ones for imp improving the performance. So do install those. And I'm working with 720p source, 25 frames a second, um, H.264, uh, I think baseline profile. Uh, and what we're going to do is we'll edit that on PowerDirector 12 and I'll zoom in now and show you how I do that. So there's the setup again, got the Mix 2 set up as the dock and we've got a dirty 1080p screen here but that should be good enough to show you what's going on. So Power uh, Director version 12 starts up in about 5-6 seconds, it's pretty good uh, considering on a hard drive device it's about 20 seconds and I'm going to uh, load up a, a project that I just prepared because I don't want to go through the the whole project um, online here. So what I've done is I've imported the the video from the camera and then just dragged it into the um, preview editor here. I've set up a uh, an intro and an outro and all I need to do now is um, just drag that into there and um, we can see that that fits nicely there. What I also want to do is just put a fade on the start and the end of it and you can see the preview is pretty quick to fill in there so actually working with 720p videos is really not too not too bad. So we'll just do overlap transition on everything. I will zoom in and add just a little audio fade at the beginning there. There we go and a little audio fade at the end to make sure that that uh, doesn't click on the crossover and we'll just do a quick preview so that you can see um, that the preview works okay so you'll see my title and you'll see it moving along here you'll see the fade in and you'll see the video so it's time to do a little bit of testing with the Lenovo Mix 210 on this nice song. and then let's just check the end See if that fade works. Yeah, so all the preview works pretty well. I'm not using shadow files on here as well because the hardware um, H.264 decoder in here is, is so good. It doesn't need to have pre uh, shadow files uh, built, so that really speeds it up. Importing is direct and working. You're working with the direct files. So, producing. Now, there's two ways to output and. Um, this is really nice for PowerDirector 12. What you can do is use this thing up here, Intelligent SVRT. Now it assesses the video in the timeline to work out what uh, the most used bitrate and format is, and then proposes a format for output. So I've actually used this before, and I've already given it a profile name. It has worked out that if I use an MPEG-4 profile, 1280 by 720, blah, 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 it's going to be very quick to output. So here we go then. Uh, I'm just going to start that output and you'll see what happens. Now this is a five minute video. What it's going to do is going to render the uh, the images, the titles and the overlaps only and the rest of the video will be kept the same. So we'll get an 8 megabit per second um, H.264 video output but watch what happens here. I'm just going to put my finger where the rendering line is. Okay. So the whole of that middle section of the video which had no edits in it at all, it was a one take, is done. So we're up to 95% of the video done within seconds there. So 
28 seconds done. It's about another 10 seconds to go. And the whole of that five minute video will be rendered out to 720p. Now what you'll have is an eight megabit per second video. That might not be uh, good for uploading to YouTube if you wanna do that quickly. So you're gonna to have to re-render that to a lower bit rate. So what we're gonna do We'll do it again and I'll show you the difference if you re-render it to a lower bit rate. We're going to choose the H.264 uh, format and I've got a profile that I created which matches um, the frame rate of the camera and the um, uh, the frame rate and the uh, resolution. And I've downed it to 4 megabit per second, uh, slightly changed the profile. It's using um, baseline and it's using high-speed rendering rather than um, high-quality rendering, um, which is pretty good for YouTube. Don't worry about the uh, the quality there. It's it's far, it's good enough for YouTube. So we'll see what happens now. We'll start that now, and you'll see it's going to take a lot longer. But um, it does actually render out at about 1x real time, which is pretty usable. And you'll see it's... Um, it's rendering the titles now, and we get into the main section now. It's moving along, moving along, moving along. It estimates uh, about uh, four, three and a half minutes. So it's actually rendering a little bit faster than real time. I'm going to pause the video, and we'll come back just before that's uh, finished. So as that gets to the end there, if I just sweep over to the times, you'll see so far it's taken 2 minutes 16. It's about 6 seconds to go. It'll take a bit longer than that because it's going to slow down. And this was a 5 minute video. Let's just see if that's finished. 3, 2, 1, done. Okay, so it took a total of 2 minutes 26 seconds for a 5 minute video, 720p. Um, at 4 megabits per second. And a reminder, I used a custom profile and changed it down to 4 megabits per second. So, 2x real-time speeds is quite impressive for this little baby down here. Just to prove it was this, this device, that's the uh, Lenovo Mix 10, and this is just a mirrored screen. It is not on the Ultrabook over here. This is actually on an Atom platform. So, just to recap, that's the Lenovo Mix 210, connected by HDMI. Uh, no power plugged into it. I've got an external keyboard and mouse just to make things easier. And we're rendering out onto to a 1080p uh, screen. The input was 720p. The output was 720p, but I changed the bit rate down to 4 megabits per second and it put the titles and the fades in and it rendered out at a very nice 2x uh, real time. Now let's just have a look and see if the video is there. And let me just... Uh, it will be that video... So let's just open that with the video player, and you can see the final video. So it's time to do a little bit of testing with the Lenovo Mix 210. Oh, this nice subtle review will come up on umcporty.com, and uh, I'll be happy to answer questions there as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. And that goes from me as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget to check us out on umcportal.com, ultrabooknews.com. And my name's Chippy. I'm at Chippy on Twitter. Thanks for watching.